Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making lo mein noodles from scratch. Last year, when I buy them from my local Asian market, the price was $3.59 per pound. This year, it becomes $4.99. I mean, $1.40 doesn't look much, but it's almost a 40% increase. I'm shocked with the inflation, so I decided to show you how to make it at home. We're gonna calculate how much cheaper and discuss if it is worth the labor. You will need one pound of all-purpose flour or bread flour. Normally, you should use bread flour to make noodles because it has a higher protein content in general, so your noodles will come out nice and chewy. But Lo mein noodles are full egg noodles, which means you do not use any water to form the dough. Egg contains lots of protein, which improves the texture of the dough. So for this recipe, it's completely fine to use all-purpose flour. I bought this from Walmart. It costs about 36 cents per pound. We will need four to five eggs. So every egg is different and every brand of flour has different water absorbing rate. So I cannot give you a fixed ratio. As for now, I'm adding four eggs and keep one on the side to adjust. We will talk about that later. Add half teaspoon of salt, then get a spatula and give that a pre-mix. I'm using a stand mixer to knead the dough. Let it run on medium speed for about 10 minutes. You can also do it by hand. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. In about five minutes, I noticed that my flour is crumbly and it cannot form into a large piece of dough. That means it is too dry. This will be perfect if you are making low hydration noodles, but we are making low mean. So I think it needs about two tablespoons of egg to help to form the dough. I didn't want to split the egg, so I added a whole one plus two more ounces of all-purpose flour. Continue to knead for the rest of the time. Now all the flour has formed into a big piece of dough. I'm going to show you how to check if the consistency is correct. Make sure your hand is clean and dry. Grab a piece of dough, squeeze it tightly, then release. If the dough falls off immediately, you're good to go. If the dough sticks to your fingers, you have to add more flour to make it less sticky. Next step is to roll the dough into sheets and uh, cut them into noodles. This can be done by hand. You can check this video for the demo. However, my arthritis is not allowing me to do such heavy work anymore. So I'm going to use a pasta roller and a noodle cutter. Cut the dough into a few manageable pieces. Then flatten each piece a little bit so it can go through the machine easier. Put on the attachment. Start with the thickest setting. Let the dough go through the machine. It will be rough and the edge is jagged. That's fine. Just fold the sheet in half and feed it through the machine a few times until the surface is smooth. Do the same thing to all four pieces of dough. Then you can gradually lower the thickness and continue to feed the sheet through the machine until they reach the desired thickness. For low mean noodles, I normally use the level 3 as the final setting. Apply a generous amount of cornstarch on the surface. If you use wheat flour, it will prevent the sticking for a short time, but the noodles will stick together if you store them for hours, because gluten tend to connect to each other. Cornstarch doesn't contain any gluten, so it will separate the noodles for a long time. Switch the attachment to the noodle cutter and feed the sheet through. Add more cornstarch into the mixing bowl, then toss the noodles to coat nicely. Shake off the excess flour. Look at that. You have some perfect homemade loamy noodles. Due to the egg content, these noodles don't stay good in the fridge, but you can freeze them for up to six months. 
All right, we are done. Let's see how much noodles we have made. I made 753 grams of lo mein noodles. That is roughly about 1.7 pound, which means it costs 85 cents to make one pound of lo mein noodles. Compared to the price that I get from the Asian market, I saved $4.14 per pound of noodles. But is it really worth the labor? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that question to you because everybody is different. I love noodles and I own a KitchenAid, so it doesn't take that much effort. And I usually process five pounds of noodles at once and freeze them. So I will save about $20 each time and I'm totally happy about that. However, you may not eat noodles often and the grocery cost in your area might be different. So please leave a comment below because I'm curious to hear what you think. By the way, I have tons of recipes that require lo mein noodles. I'll put the links in the description. Go check them out if you need it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.